engineer. His name is Mr. Welbeck, and he's the CEO of Highcoms Engineering, building architect, building construction, consultancy, etc. Welcome. Thank you. Um, I think the uh, mic is not. It's not okay. Yeah. Welcome once again. Thank you. My name is Welbeck, the CEO of Highcoms Engineering. I've been working with my brother for. Oh, you need to talk louder. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll give be, you the I've been mic. working with my brother for a very long time. Well, actually, I'm here to. I'm representing the builders here. I'm not here to advertise. I'm representing the builders here, natural builders, and the engineering aspects. We really want to educate you. What we really want to say is this. From the diaspora, how things are done there is different from how things are done here. The system of our building here is different. All I know, working with the diaspora and a few friends I know outside, I know that most of you don't involve physically in buildings. You, you buy, you mortgage. But in our society, we build ourselves. Right. So whatever we owe, we owe it ourselves. Right. We don't pay mortgage till we die. No. We don't pay mortgage till we die. No. The moment you build, it's for you and for your children and for your grandchildren and for your generations to come. There are few things you only pay for the government or for the for the government and that is property rates. So this is the procedure of building. First you acquire a land, a property. When you acquire a property, the next thing is you have to make sure the property bears your name. Which is the site plan should bear your name. When it happens like that, the next thing you really, if you really want to build, then you have to see an architect, an architect, a designer, to design your home for you. When that thing is settled, when you when you you you, you deal with an architect, which you have to pay, of course, you have to pay the architect, the designer of your home. When you are done with that. Then you have to go for a building permit. Mm -hmm. A building permit. In some community, it's not developed, so you don't even need a building permit. For instance, like uh, Jazzy <laughs> in the Winneba, it's not a developed area. The, 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 it does not be captured in the assembly the local assembly of Winneba. Okay. So currently, you don't need a permit. So we work. I'm a builder there. I've built. I've built a round head, a round, I've built two round heads at home in Jersey. One is round building behind my brother's, brother's house. And in that area, you don't actually need a permit. But at all costs, as time and we age, we still need a permit. So the procedure is after the permit, we've gotten the permit from the local, that's a building permit from the local uh, assembly. Now you have to look for a contractor to build your home. Looking for a contractor to build a home, please not internet contractor. Let me tell you the truth. Not searching and googling and going to uh, 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 this thing to, to, to look for a contractor. Because of my experience. Because most of you, that's where you work. You work. But I think, and the best thing to do is a recommended contractor. Brothers, is a recommended contractor. 
Somebody should reference you. I know this person. This person is good. Let me give you this person. So it's one of the best. Because most of our YouTubes, most, I know they are very genuine ones. But how will you know? But if you are recommended by somebody who knows them, I think you are on the safer side. I told you I'm not here to advertise, I'm here because of things we've been going through. We see people building and people take their money and you don't see them again. So that is what happens. When somebody recommends somebody to you, that means the person knows the person personally. So what happens is, please, when dealing with a contractor, no matter how it is, he will give you a bill for your project for your building, everything. The estimate for the entire building. Please, you must go in agreement with the contractor. Signed, if you are okay with the estimate he or she has given you. After that is done, please, no matter how ready you are, you can pay in cash even the entire project, please never pay anything, a whole bulk of money, or the entire project money to the contractor, please. You must always come in terms of payment plans with the contractor. And I'm sure my brothers and sisters that are contractors here have it. Most of the time, we've encountered a lot of issues that people pay a lot of or the entire project's amount to the contractor, and one is not being completed, and sometimes you don't even see them. And when it happens that like, they come and they fall on us, so when we come, then we don't know, we can't even charge, then we have to be helping. So that's why I'm stressing on this. Please, never pay any contractor an entire amount of your project. It is always at the percentile payment. There's always a payment plan for every project. And that every company or builder has. But there's no, shouldn't be any case that you should pay every and total estimate to a builder. Because my people, we are different. <laughs> yes. Yes, a lot of them, when they, when they get the money, when they get the, the money like that, uh, I don't know, it's, 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 it costs a lot of things. So please, this is uh, something I really want to talk about because I've really been facing it a lot working with a lot of people. I'm working with the diaspora now. I was, uh, Brother Mohammed here, he knows I'm working in one of the uh, commander at the central region, a two-story building with a ramp deck. We are building a ramp deck with a two-story building. <coughs> yeah, so I just left there. That was yesterday night and I have to come because of this. But what I mean more important is this thing I'm saying, please. Be conscious that never contact any contractor and pay him any amount of money. It should be, it should be splitted. Everything, every payment should have a receipt. And every contract should be signed. Well, my name is Warwick, High Cons Engineering. A rampant builder, an engineer, an architect. We do everything. So, we do everything block work, everything tiling. You know, our buildings, knowing that you people are from the diaspora, all our building projects, we create a lot of the 110, the 220, the hard water, the, the cold water system, that's what we run in our building. And 
anybody who, who has seen some of our students and are staying in them, I think they are happy. I think my brothers too, that are natural builders, they are also there. We are here together to build and to give you the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. We have a couple more. We can